Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy! She has been gathering the evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. It's all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. Connor, thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing there, and the bear just came charging at me. Yama. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I read that evening primrose encourages fertility. I'm sorry, this is not a proper conversation given the circumstance. I understand. Not another word on the matter. Prudence! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. Once again. Hello, Connor. Hello. Is something the matter? No, nothing that need worry you. I would not pry, but please know that if there was anything I could do to help, I would. It's all right, Connor already knows half of it. As you know, we've been trying to have a child, Connor, for a long time. Thus far, we have not been blessed even once. It takes its toll after a time. You must not force such things. Nature will grant you with the young one when the time is right. We hope you're right, Connor. At the very least, we are at peace here.
find them. Stop! I miss. Where's the trouble, Connor? So you'd hear past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Women! Is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't I need to. Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? If Diana's here, I swear you'll be the one who needs Some sense knocked in. You need some sense knocked into you. I'm gonna 
Smash you, you looby! Come on! Escape, Grace! Come on! Escape, Grace! There's no need for this. Yeah. He's a blockhead. Don't kill off in a spell. Just need some time is all. Godfrey? Me? <laughs> Not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper, and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The run couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! I was just telling Lance how I can set that calendar by these events. It's really not a worry, Connor. But I appreciate your concern. Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. 
Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. We've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah. You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Connor. Always redcoats. What are they doing here? Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. They must be this scouts. way, Connor. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. <laughs> Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. Whoa. I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. This way, Connor! Excellent! We are right on course! Keep going! Redcoats. What are they doing here? They must be Keep scouts. Keep going! Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Go left up here. This way, Connor! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot.
This is it. You have got the right place. Let everyone know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. Yes! This is it! This is the way! This way, Connor! Excellent! We are right on course! Excellent! We are right on course! Be on the lookout for redcoats. Excellent! We are right on course! To the right, Connor! To the right! Keep going! Mm. This is not right. Did you hear that? Could be red coats. Careful. Let us continue the search on foot. Did you hear that? Could be red coats. Careful. Thank you. This is it. You have got the right place. Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! Keep going! Does any of this look familiar to you, Connor? Turn right! <laughs> Go right, Connor! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot.
This is it. You have got the right place. The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Get them! Faster! We need to get away from them! Faster! We need to get away from them! We've got to shake those red coats! We need to get away from them! Out of your way! We've got to shake those red coats! We need to get away from them! That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. <laughs> to the left, Connor! This way, Connor! I believe we are on course. Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it. You have got the right place. Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once! Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right.
Oh, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice, then, but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. You damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Ravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. We will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, Orna. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Go on now!
blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. Have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Yourselves. 
Wait for my fire now. Wait for my signal. Make ready. Open fire. Wait for my go. Fall back. Fall back. We did it! The turning tail! It takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Mm. It never is. for the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there is no man better suited to the task. Really? I can think of several. Charles Lee. Do I know you? I would not expect you to remember. I do not wish to make someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away like that, but the last thing we need is the two of you coming to blows. Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor.
still here, are you? If I caught him anywhere near my horse, I'd give him a scalp at lug he'd not so I was forget. just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams.
Follow me. This is not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Putnam's just shot my head. You can't miss. I don't care much for your excuses, gentlemen. We shouldn't be building on Bunker Hill. Breeze is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery! Our orders came from men so divorced from the situation, we are compelled by reason to employ our own faculties. ship continues, it's assault. We'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced... Well, oh, that poor guy might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral.
here, you deaf turd!
vez. 